Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 2, we were discussing on orthographic projection of plane surfaces. So far we have solved 12 problems on orthographic projection of plane surfaces. Moving ahead, the problem number 13 of our discussion states that a rectangular lamina of sides 20 mm cross 25 mm has an edge in HP and adjoining edge in VP. It is tilted such that the front view appears as a rectangle of 20 mm cross 15 mm. The edge which is in VP is 30 mm from right profile plane. Draw the top view, front view and left side view in this position. Find its inclinations with the corresponding principal plane. There is a rectangular lamina of side 20 mm cross 25 mm as an edge in HP and adjoining edge in VP. It is tilted such that the front view appears as a rectangle of 20 mm cross 15 mm. So in the front view we are getting the rectangle of 20 mm cross 15 mm so therefore the lamina is resting on vertical plane like this so we have 20 mm cross 25 mm rectangular lamina resting on vertical plane like this in the front view i can observe the rectangle of 20 mm cross 25 mm such that the edge is on as an edge in HP and adjoining edge in VP is tilted. So once the top is taken and tilted, it is appears to be an reduced the rectangle of 20 mm cross 15 mm. I should draw front, top and left side view in this position. Let us solve this problem first. Let us draw XY line. We have X vertical plane and horizontal plane we have a rectangular lamina of 20 mm cross 25 mm so draw a rectangle of 20 mm cross 25 mm in the front view because when it is tilted we are seeing the rectangle in the front view itself so 20 cross 25 20 cross 25 drawn done so when i take projection it will be here itself right let us call this as a dash b dash c dash d dash in the top view d is visible a is invisible here c is visible b is invisible correct when i look at it from top D and C are visible, A and B are invisible. So the dimensions are given as this is 20 and this is 25. Correct? Now it is tilted such a way that I should get one more rectangle of dimension 20 cross 15. So retain this dimension 20 by taking projection we take the projection and retain this 20 retained and i should get 15 20 cross 15 in the front view obtained 20 cross 15 you know to obtain this what is the angle of inclination of this lamina with vertical plane is the question now this dimension is known this is how much? 15. So this is same D dash, C dash, B dash and A dash. Now what I will do? DA is here. I will rotate in this end. So now using compass, I will measure this and intersect. Measure this and from here, I will intersect. Now you join. So this is C and B. Here we have D and A. This is what he has given. 
डन रेक्टेंगुलर लैमिन ऑफ साइड ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव एज वन ऑफ इट्स एडज इन एच पी एंड एडजॉइनिंग एडज इन वी पी इज टिल्टेड सच दैट इन द फ्रंट व्यू इट अपियर्स एज अ स्क्वेयर रेक्टेंगल ऑफ साइड्स ट्वेंटी क्रॉस फिफ्टी द एडज विच इज इन वी पी सो दिस डी ए इज इन वी पी राइट इट इज ऑन एक्स वाई लाइन इट इज इन वी पी इज थर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम राइट प्रोफाइल प्लेन सो कंस्ट्रक्ट थर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम हियर सो फ्रॉम हियर यू शुड कंस्ट्रक्ट थर्टी एम एम डिस्टेंस सो दिस डिस्टेंस इज स्पेसिफाइड एज थर्टी वी एव राइट प्रोफाइल प्लेन दट इज एक्स वन वै वन नव ड्रा द सैड व्यू यू नो हाउ टू ड्रा द सैड व्यू मेजर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टूवर्ड्स हारिजेंटल प्लेन So this angle is 45 degrees. Now take the projection. Horizontally and project it vertically upwards. Here itself we have d dash, d double dash and a double dash. So here we will get. so d is here so d and d is d double dash a is here a dash is here so this will be a double dash c is here c dash is here so this is c double dash b and this is b double dash now we construct one more rectangle like this so this is the side view for the given problem done now he is asking draw the top view front view and left side view front view top view left side view done in this position find the inclination with the corresponding principal plane it is how much is the inclination with vp is the question so how much is this inclination you measure that inclination is found to be 55 degrees angle 55 degrees yes that inclination is found to be 55 degrees so this is the solution for problem number 13 now moving on to problem number 14 the front view of a rectangular lamine of sides 30 mm cross 20 mm is a square of sides 20 mm draw the projection and determine the inclination of the surface of the lamine with hp and vp is the question so in the front view we have a rectangular lamine of sides 30 cross 20 it appears as a square come let us solve problem number 14 this is x this is vertical plane and we have horizontal plane in the front view we have a rectangle of 30 cross 20 since it appears as a square of 20 mm in the front view now let us take 30 cross 20 square rectangle first in the front view we have 30 cross 20 30 cross 20 drawn 30 cross 20 let us call it as a dash b dash c dash and d dash so here we will have the lamine as ad 
and BC. Correct? Now he is not stating that it is inclined. The lamina is inclined to VP, therefore it appears as a square. Just he is stating that the front view of a rectangular lamina of side 30 cross 20 is a square of side 20 mm. So therefore, let me take one more square of 20 mm sides. One more square of 20 mm sides. 20. Drawn 20 each. So this dimension is 30 and this dimension is 20. Now here this dimension is again 20 and this dimension is also 20. So this is a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash. Clear? Now he is asking the inclination with hp and vp. So therefore draw the side view from which we can extract the top view. So this is x1, y1. Now you take the projection of this one. If I take the projection, I will get a straight line, right? If I look at it from here, I will get a straight line of a dash d dash. So take the projection. From here also you take the projection. It is like a mirror which is inclined. So we have a mirror. If I incline a mirror like this and take the projection, so you'll get a short, it is looking like a square. Originally the mirror was a rectangle. When I inclined, I'm getting it as a square. When I look at it from side, I should get a straight line. Correct? Now, it was like this. I've inclined it like this. Correct? So this length is same. When it, is, it was in original position and when it is tilted, this length should remain same. Right? So therefore, this length should remain same. Hence, you intersect it. So measure this height and you draw an arc. So you take a projection and you are rotated. Here just you have taken a projection. So these two will intersect. These two will intersect. Now I will get the side view to what angle it is inclined. So this will be D double dash, C double dash. This will be a double dash b double dash clear so this type of problem should be solved like this now how much is the inclination you measure the inclination the inclination is found to be 40 degree and 50 degree i am getting it as 40 degree here it should be 50 degrees Now, for side view, I want 45 degree line, mark 45 degree line and take the side view projection here to get the top view of this rectangular laminate. So take the projection. And bring back the projection. So therefore, if I take the projection, I will get it as, so this will be A and B. So this will be A and B. Here itself we have D and C. This angle is 45 degrees 
this you people know so these problems are of practical importance it is like in our home we will have a mirror attached to the wall so when mirror is upright we have a rectangle of 30 cross 20 when it is inclined the projection is giving us a square of 20 cross 20 so how much is this inclination cannot be viewed from front i should view it from side when i view it from side i can tell how much is the inclination that inclination is found to be 40 and 50 so now if you take projection the top you should also be a rectangle or a square which is that is what we got so this is the solution for problem number 14 these type of problems should be solved like this if he states it is tilted such a way that it appears to be a square then you take the lamina and tilt it and observe but here he is not stating that the lamina is tilted just he has given that there is a rectangle it appears as a square in the front view draw the projection and determine the inclination of the surface of the lamina with hp and vp is what he is stating this type of problem should be solved like this so this is a practical problem on a mirror so this is the solution for problem number 13 and 14 that's all from this lecture thank you all